And the wait continues for news from the NCAA. The Board of Governors met today and we're expected to make some announcement in regards to fall sports and postseason tournaments. But the only announcement is they will announce something tomorrow. NCAA President Mark Emmert released a statement tonight announcing they would push an update to Wednesday, saying they are considering all the implications as they determine the next steps. We'll work to bring you the latest as it happens. The Twins with a day game at Target Field won in walk-off fashion last night over the Pirates in their fourth straight win. Twins scoring early as of late and they do it again today. Bottom of the first, they take the lead. Eddie Rosario kicking things off with an RBI single to center field to score Max Kepler. Miguel Sano doubles to left to bring around Nelson Cruz for the second run of the three-run inning. Jose Barrios looking good in his outing today, pitching six innings for the Twins. He gives up one run, this sack fly to left in the fourth inning. Barrios yielding just four hits while striking out six, his team putting up seven runs in five innings. The Pirates make a push late against the Twins' hefty lead, tacking a couple on in the ninth, but it's all over as Colin Moran pops out to Marwin Gonzalez with a backhanded grab with two on and two outs. A 7-3 win as the Twins wrap the homestand 7-1. Twins are in Pittsburgh tomorrow for another two. And the Red Hawks in St. Paul, the Saints cleared to host games with fans at CHS Field and tonight the home opener. They lead 1-0 early, but top of the sixth, one on and Drew Ward lifts one sky high out to left for a two-run home run and the Red Hawks lead strong starting pitching from both sides and it's a 2-1 game in the bottom of the eighth. But the Saints chip away. Bases loaded and Alonzo Harris fires a ground ball at short. Christian Ibarra with a fantastic grab, but the throw to second is off and headed for right field. Two will score, and it's a 3-2 Saints lead. Hawks with two on in the top of the ninth. Two outs on the 3-2 pitch, and Jameson McGrain strikes out Nick Kale swinging to complete the 3-2 comeback win. These two back at it again tomorrow in St. Paul. Out to Bismarck now for the Class 2A State Baseball Tournament. Grand Forks and Williston on the field, still scoreless in the fourth inning. Garrett Hill on the mound for the Keybirds, and he keeps the game scoreless, striking out Zach Ziegler. Next inning, the Blue Devils take the lead. Dylan Coons with a base hit to straightaway center that scores the two runners on base, and the Blue Devils go up 2-0, and that's all they'll need. A 2-0 win for Grand Forks, and they'll see post 2 tomorrow at 5 p.m. Post 2 with a 10-0 win over post 400. On the other half of the bracket now, Dickinson Rough Riders versus the West Fargo Patriots. The Patriots with an aggressive start to the game. Runners on first and third. The runner on first steals second, and the throw to second is wild. Brayden Jacobson takes home from third and scores the first run. Still in the first inning, the Patriots get another run on the bat of Ryan Reynolds, and that play it's Quade Peters. It's 2-0 for the Patriots in the first. And they go on to tack on uh, plenty more. 11-0 win for West Fargo. They'll advance to see Bismarck tomorrow night at 7. A 2-1 game. 2-1 win for Bismarck in extra innings. Mike, have to mention, of course, the Minnesota Wild in action right now as well. Vancouver jumped out to an early lead. But uh, plenty of time for the Wild to make a comeback. All right. Thanks so much. Still to come.